I get comments almost daily on my YouTube videos, questions in my live streams, comments on my blog, you name it. Cindy, when are you going to play Sims 2 Pleasant View again? Cindy, what happened to Sims 3 Pleasant View? I hate your new content. I'm unsubscribing. Why did you change and make different content from the content I want you to make? Well, today I'm answering all these burning questions. I will show you exactly why and how I make the decision to scrap a series or what content I make for my channel. And I hope this will also give you some insight into why many Sims YouTubers no longer make Let's Play The Sims 3 Pets episode 646, Riley Joe Gets a New Dog. Spoiler, attention spans are short and nobody cares. Let's Plays are dead. I'm so sorry for your loss. In the earlier days of YouTube, 2010 to 2014-ish, Sims Let's Plays were a big deal. You could make 4,000 episodes all with exactly the same thumbnail changing only the episode number and your channel would grow to epic proportions. I missed this era unfortunately and started on YouTube in 2018 doing, you guessed it, traditional Sims 2 Let's Plays. It was only with a bit of luck a lot of hard work, marketing and promotion, and the fact that I introduced a brand new playstyle to YouTube that my channel was able to grow. I recognize that I rose to success on the back of these Sims 2 Let's Plays. Oh my God, these thumbnails. What was I doing? But the days when I could keep my channel afloat making 65 episodes of Let's Play Pleasant View are over. Today's YouTube audience wants short, digestible, one-off videos that entertain, provoke conversation, and elicit emotion. Let's Plays are so much fun to make. I genuinely love making them. But when someone sees episode 66 of a Sims 2 Let's Play and it's the first time they've ever seen my channel, they don't want to get involved. Now, this isn't true of everyone. One, of course. There's a small minority of people who still enjoy the old-fashioned, old-school Sims Let's Plays, but they are a minority. And when YouTube is my job, I can't afford to spend hours of my time making videos that literally get 10 to 20 times less views than my other videos. I wish I were independently wealthy and I could just spend all day making Sims 2 Let's Plays and I didn't have to worry about money or views, but I do have to generate an income from my content. Now, everything that I'm gonna share with you today is my personal experience. I realize there are YouTubers much larger than me who might be able to get away with doing Let's Plays from time to time, but as a smallish creator, at the time I'm making this video, I have only 47,000 subscribers, I believe. This is just my perspective. Yesterday, I put out another episode of my Sims 2 Pleasant View Let's Play, my original series that I started on YouTube back in 2018. People have literally been begging me to bring it back for months, but it was a huge flop. Ranking by views, 10 out of 10. Fewer regular viewers are choosing to watch this video. Only 7,000 views in the first 23 hours and 51 minutes compared to my typical performance. Views are down. Impressions, click-through rate is down. Average view duration is okay, which is good, I guess. But let's look at the analytics. Regular viewers are choosing to watch this video less often than usual, contributing to 55% fewer views. This is a huge number for a YouTuber, okay? This video has gotten 6,974 views since it was published. Your videos typically receive 15,000 to 23,000 in this time frame. Um, so here's a little graph just so as a YouTuber, when you go in and see how bad your video flopped, it can make you feel really, really just horrible when you look at this graph. So here is my regular video performance of this gray bar right here. Um, 23 hours, 51 minutes, and you can see your typical performance. And then you see this blue line down here. This is your flop video. This is how bad you suck, according to YouTube. Uh, fewer views from YouTube recommendations. Recommendations is a good place where you can look to see if you're drawing in new viewers. This is when YouTube pushes out your video, recommends it to people who've never seen your channel before, puts it on the homepage, that kind of thing. And this video got 3,572 views from recommendations. Videos on my channel typically receive 10,000 to 16,000 in this time frame. And this one got 3,000. <laughs> okay, this is the worst performing video I have ever had on my channel, 
ever lower click through rate as well. Although this isn't doesn't always mean anything. You can have a low click through rate and your video still be very successful if it's pushed out further on YouTube. So mostly what I'm looking at here are my recommendations and then just general performance number of views. So as a creator, I have to find a balance between what my audience will watch, what they like and what they want, and also what I enjoy creating and what will perform well on my channel. As much as I love making Let's Plays, I can't spend my time making videos that get one tenth of the views. And that also means one tenth of the money as my other videos. Let's say you go to work tomorrow, wherever it is that you work, or you, if you work from home, you log into your job or whatever. And your boss says to you, I'm going to give you two options. Option number one, you can do this task that you really, really enjoy doing. You can do this all day at work, or you can do it sometimes at work, whatever you want to do. But every time you do this one task that you love doing, I am going to reduce your salary to one tenth of your normal pay. Option number two, you can do this other task that you don't enjoy quite as much, but I will continue to pay you your full salary. Which one would you choose? Would you choose to do the more fun task and have your salary reduced down to nothing? No, nobody would. And this is the same position that YouTubers are in. If we continue to make Let's Plays that flop big time on our channels, then we're going to make no money and we're not gonna be able to continue doing this. One thing that I've learned in the two and a half years that I've been doing YouTube is you can never make everyone happy. Somebody is always gonna complain no matter what kind of content you put out. If I can't make everyone happy, I might as well do what's best for me and my channel. Now, not everything is about money. I'm not not just some money hungry clickbaiter, but this is my full time job and I do have to make an income that I can live on. And that means making content that the majority of my audience will watch. Creators cannot cater to the vocal few who demand Let's Plays. If we did, we wouldn't have a successful channel. I'd have to go back to working an office job and making one Let's Play a week on the weekends. And that's just not what I want to do with my life. So let's talk about why Let's Plays are dead. Why aren't people watching them anymore? Back in the early days of YouTube, Let's Plays were new and exciting. It was a new kind of content that people hadn't ever seen before. And it was so much fun to watch other people play the same game that you were playing, to share ideas. But then the platform became saturated with Let's Plays. The problem became even worse in 2014 with the release of The Sims 4. Everybody had access to the internet. Everybody had the ability to create a YouTube channel, and everyone and their dog had a new Let's Play series. It became harder and harder to compete for views. A handful of YouTubers stood out and took most of the viewing audience. The days of easy views from shitting out 5,000 part Let's Plays were over. The trend of short, punchy, informative, and entertaining videos grew and became more and more lucrative for creators. People are used to seeing gameplay on YouTube and on Twitch, and you need more than just a standard run-of-the-mill, watch me play this game for 20 minutes type of video to attract and retain viewers. Let's Plays are old news. Now when people want to watch gameplay, they mostly do it on Twitch, which gives a more interactive experience with the creator. And we have to find ways to make engaging creative content on YouTube that's not the same old, same old. Let's Plays have been done to death and they just don't perform anymore. People's attention spans are shorter. They don't want to commit to long series anymore. They just want something they can fit into their busy schedule that doesn't require a huge investment of time. And I understand. I get it. I am the same way. I have, believe it or not, never watched Let's Plays on YouTube. And when I do want to watch gameplay, I watch it on Twitch. My Sims 2 streams perform incredibly well on Twitch, but my Sims 2 videos on YouTube perform incredibly poorly. So I understand the trends of YouTubers moving away from traditional Let's Plays. They just don't draw the crowds like they once did. And though we may feel nostalgic for them, it doesn't make good financial sense for creators to continue with that model. Now, I still like making gameplay videos, but you have to be creative. And instead of massive, long-running series. We have to make single episode Let's Plays, kind of, that don't require a commitment of time from the viewer. So here's a look at my previous four videos on my YouTube studio. Uh, my Bone Hilda video got 45,000 views. My last Bone Hilda video, I did two Bone Hilda videos. What can I say? It's hot. It's hot news, okay? 
<laughs> got 27,000 views. And this last Sims 3 video that I did, which was a flop at the time with only 17,000 views, it's kind of like a one episode of Let's Play where I play a ghost hunter in The Sims 3. Um, you know, it still did a heck of a lot better than episode 66 of Pleasant View. And so I don't mind doing those from time to time and taking a bit of a hit in views, but the level of flop that my last Let's Play video was is just, I can't do it, guys. I can't do it. I cannot justify uh, my time. It's not even worth my time. This YouTube is no longer a hobby for me. Before, whenever I had a full-time job and I was just doing this on the weekends, it didn't matter to me about the views and, you know, how much money I would make from each one. But now it does matter, unfortunately, because this is my career. Actually, it's not unfortunate. It's quite fortunate because I love what I do and I want to keep doing YouTube. And that means Let's Plays gotta go for me personally. And like I said before, I know there are some larger YouTubers who can still do Let's Plays and still have some success with them, but a creator of my size, it just doesn't work. It's difficult for me because I want to make my audience happy, and I got a lot of very positive comments on this video. People saying things like, yes, please do more videos like this. I've missed this madness so much, and I appreciate these comments. I really do. Um, I'm so happy that the 6,000 of you who watched this video enjoyed it, and I'm glad that I could make you happy. Happy. But I have 40,000 additional subscribers who didn't watch it. So that's something that I have to take into consideration. So here's a little more analytics for you and a little more tips if any of you are YouTube creators. I subscribe to a service called Morning Fame, which helps me to know how my videos are doing and know sort of which videos to focus on. And every time I post a video 24 hours later, they send me a little report on how my video is doing. And 24 hours ago, I published a Spaghetti Winterfest on Fire, Sims 2 Pleasant View, episode 66. And... Morning Fame is informing me that this video is my 40th most viewed after 24 hours out of 41 videos. Only one video has ever done worse than this out of my last 40. I don't even know which one that could be. Probably the modern loading screens for Sims 2. That one was a big flop too. Um, and it also is the 39th the most liked after 24 hours. What the hell was less liked? <laughs> So this gives me a good idea that a video is not doing well when it's that low on the list. This service called Morning Fame gives me a lot of really in-depth uh, analytics about my channel, tells me if my channel is growing. Every week it gives me a report on all my videos, tells me which ones are speeding up the growth of my channel, which ones aren't. So I am not affiliated with Morning Fame in any way, but I do use them as a creator. And if you're a creator too, I will put a link down below um, it's by invitation only, so I will put a link down below to an invitation if, if any of you guys want to join this for your own channels. Just throwing that out there. First month is free, so you can just use my link down below, sign up, and find out how your channel's doing. So I hope this has given you some insight into why I've moved away from traditional Let's Plays on my channel, and also why many of your favorite Sims YouTubers have started to do the same. While it still can work for some of the larger creators, for the most part, I think this trend will continue and eventually these long-running series will be a relic of the past. That being said, if you want to see gameplay from me, come over and follow me on Twitch where I stream The Sims 2 and The Sims 4 three to four times a week and follow my second channel for stream archives if you can't watch them live. And if you've never tried watching a live stream from me or your other favorite creators, give it a chance. Live streams are a lot of fun with a lot of interaction with the creator. I love getting input for my audience as I'm playing and it just feels like we're all hanging out and playing together. I enjoy streaming even more than I enjoy making Let's Plays. So come on over and hang out and give it a chance. I have gotten a lot of comments from people saying they just don't have time to watch a three hour stream. And so that's why they're upset about the lack of Let's Plays on my channel. I don't have time to watch three hour streams any either. So whenever I want to watch something from my favorite creator, I just go in and watch little chunks at a time. The thing about live streams is you don't have to be there for the whole thing if you can't. Just drop in, enjoy some gameplay, move on about your day. Or if you're watching the playbacks, just 
just watch 20 minutes at a time. It's no different than if the video was split up for you. That's just a suggestion. You may never want to watch live gameplay and that's perfectly fine. You may want to stick to channels who only make Let's Plays and that's perfectly fine too. I just want you to understand as a subscriber on my channel why I am no longer doing Let's Plays. The last Pleasant View video that I published yesterday will most likely be the last one ever on my channel. But don't feel bad if you want an ending to my original Pleasant View series. There will be an ending, but I will most likely do it on Twitch. I will keep you updated on that. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know how you feel about this. Have you noticed this trend of creators moving away from traditional Let's Plays? And did this help you sort of understand why a little bit better? Have you moved on to watching gameplay on Twitch like most of my audience has? Or are you a diehard Let's Player that refuses to change? Leave a comment down below and let me know. My name is Cindy and I will see you with a new video very soon. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me rant.